Good day, and Mabuhay to you all. Let me start off with a question. Would you let someone cut you? Would you let someone burn you? Would you let someone poison you? All right, technically that's three questions, but they all kind of have the same th theme. And you might say, no, of course not. No one would allow someone to cut them or burn them or poison them. But what if I told you that thousands of people every day all around the world allow themselves to be cut and burned and poisoned and pay big money for the privilege? Well, you've probably figured it out by now that I'm talking about cancer treatments. You see, when someone has cancer, they allow themselves to be cut in the form of surgery. They allow themselves to be burned in the form of radiation. They allow themselves to be poisoned in the form of chemotherapy. And they are eager to do it, comparatively speaking. Well, why is that? Because as painful and costly as those treatments are, the cancer is worse. It can kill you. Now, I shouldn't have to say this, but I do have to say this. I am not a doctor. I am not giving medical advice. You should discuss your medical issues with someone who is a medical doctor. I am using this as an analogy to make a point about Jesus Christ, okay? Don't call lawyers, don't sick them on me, I have no money, please don't sue me. That said, you may be going through a time of testing right now, a time of purification, especially if you are a new Christian or you're pursuing a deeper relationship with Jesus. Uh, maybe you've decided to address a habitual sin that you've been avoiding, or you've decided to start tithing off of the top of your income, or you've decided to get into the Word every single day, whatever it is. If you haven't already, you'll probably be feeling the discomfort, uh, the pain of that time of testing. Uh, but that pain has a purpose. You see, one facet of the believer's relationship with God is that he is the potter, we are the clay. If you've ever made something out of clay, like a pot or a coffee mug, uh, or if you're a child, an ashtray for some reason, you have to shape the clay into the proper shape for its role. Uh, but it doesn't stop there. The clay must first go through a hot oven. And the purpose of this is to harden the clay so that it can stand up to the stress of being used. If the clay does not go through the fire, then that clay pot will collapse as soon as you put something in it. The fire is necessary to make the clay strong. It's necessary so that it can be used by its owner. Now, if you are stepping out in faith, if you're pursuing a deeper relationship with God, if you are climbing to new levels of obedience, then you are going to go through a period of trial. And it is painful. There's no question about it. But it is necessary to complete the process of making you fit for service. And that painful time of testing is God cutting out those sinful behaviors that are holding you captive. He's poisoning the weeds that are choking his word out of your spirit. He is burning up the pride, the selfishness, the resentment that would otherwise hold you back from the great things that God has planned for you to accomplish. And the good news is it will not last forever. 1 Peter 5.10 says, After you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ will himself restore and confirm and strengthen and establish you. So I implore you, cooperate with God as he is purifying you. To the extent that you cooperate with God, the shorter the purification time will be. 
don't prolong the pain by stopping the process in the middle and then running back to your old behaviors, your old sins, your old habits. Stay with it until the end, and in the end, you will be like the believers described in 1 Peter 1.7. So that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that perishes even though it's tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. If you stand firm to the end, relying on God's power to carry you through, you will come out shining brighter than gold at the last day. And your test will become a testimony to the glory of Jesus Christ in the last days. And it will feel so good that the pain will become a distant memory. Keep that in mind. Thank you. Maraming salamat for watching. God bless you all.